This evening's act of kindness is really collaborative. We've told you about the COVID-19 Regional Response Fund and how it gave money raised to 200 nonprofits around the region. Now here's a closer look at the effort by the numbers. There were nearly 40 business and corporate partners in the endeavor. More than 1,000 individuals donated. Their generosity ended up raising 7.2 million bucks in emergency relief. Yeah, 7.2. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. It's pretty good. You know, we set a goal of five million, right? Ellen Katz's Greater Cincinnati Foundation teamed up with the United Way to put together the COVID-19 Regional Response Fund. It's taken a lot of partners and people to raise and then direct the funding. Jill Miller of Bethesda, Inc. is one of them. When you talk about 200 organizations and do the trickle down from that and, and look at the reach to all the people in the community, you're smiling. I am, and I love this team because, you know, when you say 200 nonprofit organizations, that's big, small, grassroots, those who are well-established. But they all help the tri-state's most vulnerable. The fund has focused on providing emergency relief for child and elder care, food insecurity, medical needs, and housing. For instance, to keep people safe in viral times, money raised helped Bethany House socially distance families experiencing homelessness by putting them in hotel rooms. The overall effort made it so that we didn't have a single outbreak in our homeless shelter population. Nonprofits are grateful for the help in this tough time. Someone from the Family Nurturing Center wrote, Truth, tears are falling down my face. This makes a huge difference for the children and families we serve. It gives me hope right, that so many are suffering during this crisis. But when you see a community rally like this, it gives you a lot of hope that we will recover. And you know what? They're still dispensing money. Here's another lovely development. Folks with the fund tell me medical systems around the tri-state received $30,000 infusions from that $7.2 million for things like that very important protective gear. Call it a thank you to all the healthcare heroes out there taking care of COVID-19 patients. And we should point out, WCPO 9 News is a media sponsor of the COVID-19 Regional Response Fund. Big thank you to everybody who participated and opened their hearts to this. 